Good one today is Tuesday, September 26, 2023. Jump date for Wednesday, 27th. All right, let's go. Well, not a bad day for a bad day, so to speak. Go ahead and lower your stop a little on KBH. Obviously, LFMD hitting the IPT finally, but I'll take it. Bump your stop up to break even on that. Make sure you take off half your shares if you haven't already done so. We do have a short tonight. I was a little disappointed once I started noodling with the parameters because it's going to require such a big point stop. You're really not going to get that many shares off on it, which you might want to do if you're a little bit more experienced or have some experience with options, I should say, is maybe take a look at the deep in the money options. It's something that I haven't looked at for this one specifically because the market is closed at this time. So, But that's something you might want to look into as a substitution for shorts. And the other problem you just end up with, even just a few shares with a high price stock, obviously, you end up with a margin issue where you're putting up a lot of margin for the stock. But anyway, I think it's worthwhile going after as a possible short. Again, shorting is not my favorite thing to do, but on a day like today, getting a little help from the short side is certainly a nice thing. We are traders and that's what we do. And as I preach, it helps you to see both sides of the market. Let's go through the Landry list real quick since we're here. As you can see, kind of a beautiful textbook sort of bow tie. It can be a little wide and loose, this particular stock, but it does look like it's broken. It looks like the end of the road for this guy, unfortunately. Just a little bit of a pullback here. I wouldn't mind a deeper pullback, so maybe if we don't get a trigger, we can juggle the parameters a little bit and get uh, better parameters. But as I often preach, with a short side setup, you want to get in as soon as possible if it begins to crack. So let's just say you have a tiny pullback and then it begins to crack. A lot of people who are waiting for a deeper retracement to get off the hook will sometimes bail. So that's the psychology behind that. Still seeing some home builders in here. I would wait for these to pull back a little bit before going after new setups there. WFRD still catching my eye. But just not too excited about that one for reasons given recently. Could use a little more deeper pullback. And if it does, it's back into this prior little base here. I just don't think it's that exciting and worth going after. HP pretty low on that one too, by the way. Let's take a little portfolio and then let's pop out to the overall market. KBH, slight move in our favor. We'll take it. The, the good news here is it did close at multi-month low. So this looks like a stock that's in a lot of trouble. And then when the... Stock does close at multi-month lows like this. Put your horizontal line in and notice all of this trading up here. Anybody who bought the stock since way back here is now at a loss. So that's a lot of trading up there. KNF uh, down a little bit after trying to rally. A little bit of a lap open. Kind of hanging there in general, but on your stops just in case. We stop out, we stop out, we'll find something else. Eventually, at least. Take a look at LFMD. Bam, winning. Finally get into that IPT. Boy, this was a, a testament and testing your patience in following the plan. And I just did a stock chart show a few minutes ago. And in that show, I said, look, if it wasn't for the service and me being forced to follow these plans, it would be really hard for me to follow these plans, <laughs> especially with something that chops around like that. But that's how the system works, and that's what we're supposed to do. Take a look at the P's. Ugh, ugly. A lap down here and then follow through to the downside. Down about a percent and a half. Banging out some new lows with Vigor. And, you know, the same thing I just talked about with, with uh, some of these other stocks in here, like the KBH, is that a lot of overhead supply now beginning to stack up. So it's got its work cut out for it now. Obviously, bow tie moving averages have bow tied to the downside. Lots of Landry light, but though all those moving averages, including the 50 simple, which is actually turned down to watch the slope at 50 sometimes. That could help out. We hadn't talked about bonds lately, but it's been ugly. Take a look at bonds. Have banged out some new lows with a bit of vigor. So this uh, this is a bummer. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but uh, you can see that it's a bit of a bummer. Dollar remains strong in here. So that's interesting that at least there's a little flight to safety into the dollar, but certainly not enough to get excited about. Now, Apple, I've been talking about this one. Take a look at Apple and other leaders. Meta's not so not so bad just yet, but it's another one that I'm watching that's lost steam. So any of these previous high flyers, keep an eye on them because the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So this one, obviously banging out these new multi-month lows. And again, same thing I just said. Look at all the overhead supply on, in here. Anyone who's bought Apple above 172 round numbers is at a loss. Take a look at the NASDAQ. Again, multi-month lows, lots and lots of overhead supply, and all those other things I just said. Now, the VIX, let me see if I can just pop it up real quick, and then we'll take a look at the 
how stretched it is. VIX, VIX is pretty stretched in here. Let's pop over real quick. Here we go. About 27%. So that's a new stretched position away from that 10 simple. So that means we could see the mother of all bounces. And I think it's what happens next. Unless we bounce and keep going straight up, I think this market is in a lot of trouble. There's the meta I was referring to. As you can see, kind of top in here, beginning to roll over. And I'm sure the bow ties have kicked over to the downside or, or the cusp of doing that. Let's take a look at some other areas. We just looked at the NASDAQ. Take a look at the Rusty, same as it ever was. Begging out some new lows. Looks like it wants to come down to the bottom of its trading range. So that obviously is ugly. Energy is getting hit a little bit in here, but an inside day. I wouldn't really count that as getting hit too much. They could use a little bit more pullback. And uh, oops, what's this funny indicator? Stoke. I don't even know how to say that. Um, of course, I know it's stochastic because otherwise <laughs> I had to correct myself because otherwise we get a four page email on what a stochastic is. Uh, don't use it <laughs> unless you accidentally put it on your charts, right? Uh, energies again could use a little bit more pullback. So let's wait and see what happens there. Boy, sector after sector break it down. There's foods. Just, you know, just throw a dart. Take a look at financial services breaking down with vigor and here drugs, as I've been saying quite a bit, have given up all their recent rally down just a smidge today. But boy, beginning to look like they could be in trouble. Biotech actually bounced, but looks like it's rolled over in here. The list goes on and on. I'll just kind of go through a few of these. But as you can see, manufacturing, MNC still looks ugly. Sector after sector continuing to break down retail look at that beginning to break down with vigor down nearly two percent today bow ties have flipped over to the downside or, or very close to flipping over as you can see software that's a bit of a bummer it's given up all of its recent gains and then some closing at multi-month lows again the overhead supply problem is still there semiconductors pff, still ugly in here earlier tonight i was thinking i'm not gonna make a long video tonight but after i went through all my analysis i think it's important to show that all these areas or looking pretty ugly in here so that's not a good thing so let's just see how things shake out i think the elf is worth a shot i think the energies could be worth a shot soon but for now let's just let them pull back any questions you know the routine everybody have a great night we're talking tomorrow thank you so much